Hey guys, Evan here. We are back again with another episode in the uh, Crown Tundra. Last episode, we went through uh, Max like raid den thing, and let me pull it up real quickly. We got Suicune, which was pretty surprising that we got a legendary already. But I get, but I guess the Crown Tundra has a lot of legendaries coming back from the old games. But we have to wake this guy up and tell him about what his daughter said. And basically what she said is that all she wa like that she wants to just do raid dens all day long. And that he has to be fine with it. Ugh, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling, darling Nia? Are you alright? This, this fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Really? Ugh. Adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I think that he's related to Rose because Peony is a type of flower and she said um, and that uh, Scientist right there said that he looks like uh, Chairman Rose I've learned that firsthand now hand now firsthand. I mean I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks and look how I've ended up Behind some rocks is your daughter, daughter a roly coly sir? <laughs> Funny. There we go. I'm up. No little bumps gonna keep me down long. That kip's got got me feeling light as rain. Right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, here's how it went. Hmm. He don't say. So dear Nia is set on staying away while till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Event Tour. You know, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at that age when she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to, to press her into doing what I want to do. Probably won't win me any, any Dad of the Year awards. What's your name, kid? My name's Evan. Cheers, Evan. My name's Peony. Wait, have I told you all? I already, ha I already told you so. <laughs> then it's twice as, as nice to meet you. He's, he's definitely hyper. Oh, he's a league card. I guess he did say that he used to be a gym uh, trainer or a gym leader. Let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be itching to join uh, join in the fun. Yeah, let's. Now that's an ultra like, uh, great response. Just what I ho was hoping to to hear. Ha ha ha. We're going to have ourselves a grilled treat of legendary Pokemon hunt. No, so let's decide. Now then, Evan. Let's get, get ourselves to Freezing Town. It's a town just a short ways off. It's a really creative name, Freezing Town. <sighs> Let me guess. It snows there and it's really cold. Time for a strategic planning planning meeting for Peony's event tour. I'll fill you in the de in the details once we get there. I say, let us reconvene po post haste. Ha! Just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked like that? <laughs> he talks a lot. All right, let's go uh, out here. Go to Freedington where Peony is waiting. Waiting. There he goes off. I'm su I should probably get a uh, snow coat because all I have right now is just a like a spring jacket and some jeans. So last time, I s I saw quite a lot of like Pokemon, like fossil Pokemon, like like ice fight fossil Pokemon, which is weird since they're supposed to be extinct. I saw an item back there. I'm gonna try and go get it. Freezing Town. Crown Tundra. How do they grow anything here? Hello, hello, what have we here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this town of Freezing Town. I must say it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in out in our out of the way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King Bountiful Harvest as well? 
King, uh, sure. Uh, never mind. I, I, it hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this freezing town specialty as a memento. What is it? A boat neck sweatshirt. The shirt emblazoned with the lightness of the King of Bountiful Harvest. I think that might be Calyrex, since it's the King Pokemon. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we hoped. We got a fair number left over. The illustration is based on a extremely ancient account of the King's appearance, hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what, what the King really looks li looked like, I suggest you take a look at a statue in the fields in the center of our village. I think Calyrex actually does have a large head, I saw in the trailers. By the by, the, by the by, while you're in the Crown Tundra, feel free to le to let your let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. Oh, they uh, they have that in the Crown Tundra too. Oi! I like how over here, Evan. I like how this town is in like the main wild area and not in your, and not just in a separate, uh, separate like location like in the like anywhere else. Oh, there's my Grim Snarl. Oh, and there's people here, cause all right, I've switched out offline so you won't see so many po so many people. Well, I thought so, anyways. I guess there will be people online in this video. Okay. Let me look at this statue right here. Right here. Well, that's that's weird, but uh, I have heard that there are like legendary horses, and you get to choose between them. Well, let's go in this house. Aha! Here you are. This pokey little place will be our lodgings. It's a pretty nice place. Oh, that's the top of the head. But at this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp is it. Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about Evan. Let me tell you about what Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, they got a, few, a, few, a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge head of Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. I think, I'm pretty sure that's Calyrex. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gathered. I, I guess those are the Galarian versions of the legendary birds from Kanto. And furthermore, there's a great Hulk and Dot faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Those are the Reggies, the Reggie Drago and Reggie Lucky, the new Reggies, etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends, and we're not stopping until we've found just how much truth they've got to them. To them, we are on the Peony Expo Exploration Team, and that is our gr grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows, they say even chancy meet meetings can lead up blissful, blissyful friendships. This guy, this guy really likes puns, doesn't he? So here's a grand adventure expedition, expedition. Chief Evan. Chief. Obviously. Yeah, that's, I guess that's obvious. I don't know. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivating off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion, reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter, sitting alone in this room, pinning for her papa. Gah, nope, not on my watch. I'll never let that happen. So I'll be, be the hold down the fort chief. Good, I, this guy won't follow me all, everywhere. I don't want to... This guy talks a lot. Which means you, have, you get the pleasure of being the expedition, expedition chief. Ha 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 ha. Good. Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. An expedition uniform. I guess I'll just put it on then. 
I don't know. Orange is not really my color. Color. Ah, oh, look at that. Fits you like a glove. Especially the gloves. They really fit me well. I brought some spare uniforms so my near, dear Nia will have a few to change into. I guess I'm her size. So there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kip, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. I've got some different colored scars in there, so switch it up. A fancy bit of style. Okay. Here, I have these two. Legendary clue number one. Alright, put a key item in the pocket. A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest is written by Peony in an old photo is attached to it. Okay. I guess he stole the head. There's a fairy tale in Freezing Town about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the field in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Legendary clue number two. But the Legend of Giants is written by Peony and has unique drawings. Those look like, yeah, those are definitely unique. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's doors are strange words. Let the Mon H Chang one. I don't know. I guess the one of them is supposed to be Pokemon. The door remains firmly shut. Second to the side of the snow slide slope, it's a tongue twister, lies a temple where the Giant of Ice sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Wa, to get iving stall of snow. The door remains firmly shut. I guess these are all the previous uh, Reggies. Reggie Rock, Reggie Gigas, and Reggie Steel. Or, like, not Reggie Gigas, or like, Re Reggie Ice. Reg Ice. Near where green meets snow in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's doors are strange words. Let's out note Walk Ian Eel. The door remains firmly shut. On the distant past, the tree point past lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the door's temple, on the temple's doors are strange words. Wary door, I'll be in. And, and that's where Reggie Lucky and Reggie Drago are, I'm pretty sure. Door remains firmly shut. Legendary clue number three. Alright. Well, Legend of Bird Pokemon. When the sun reaches its zenith and shines directly down upon a great tree, when leaves that seem to burn, there is that legendary wings come to roost. There are legendary clues that I've, I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicating tele-watching. Oh, gosh. First off, why not have a look at what clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest? Seems like our loyal bounce bounce to this loyal sea, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bond of Sovere Sovereign and Steed. It's a cool graphic. There's a big statue of it in the bang middle of the village. Though its head isn't massive, as massive as in my notes. Do you want to change back to your usual clothes? Uh, yes please, I do not like this. And I think I'll also, um, change into that... Like, aha, I just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. A Master Ball. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's supposed to be one Ultra Mega Corker of a ball. So use it when they, wherever you think you ought to. I got ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look at... For the adventure and crew flag I stuck out in front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Let's have a special time out there. Please? Well, I did change my shirt to the dojo shirt. Oh, there's the tree where the legendary birds are. I think I'm going to go there first. Uh, cause I want to catch Galarian Zapdos. And I guess that's might be where Calyrex is. That dead tree. Okay, so... 
Oh, uh, what is it now? I just want to explore. Well, what's that? Some footprints? Yes, there they are. Sonya? Where's she? These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Hmm, wait, Evan? What are you doing in a place like this? What are you doing here? I keep asking myself the, that exact same question. If I had known it was going to be this cold here, I would have thought things through a bit more. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. Here are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people, you see. Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra is here. Oh, whoops. My theory is correct. I guess that explains the... Like, something about isolation, I guess that explains the... As fossil Pokemon being here. My, if my theory is correct. Tree of legendary Pokemon could be lurking anywhere in these forests. Theory's not wrong. If you want to some proof, see those footprints. Yeah. Of Iron Will Pokemon. That's super sad of the day. You need to track it. My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all here. In the Crown Tundra. Oh, those are the Regis. There's evidence that they're scattered all over the place that will lead us to them. If we could find 100% of the day, we need to track these legendary Pokemon, then we could po use my po Pokemon Finder. Tell me what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked old cold, and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Well, are you planning to stick around here for a while, Evan? Could you spot some more evidence, find it, I'll reward you? Okay. Stay in a house. Pen, paper, okay. Can I just go around my adventure? About my adventure, please. So, I'm gonna find where that legendary bird tree is and see if we can find it. Okay, I've made it up here. How do I get in onto that island? I actually saw uh, Sula Legendary. I saw... Uh, I forgot its name, but it's the Sula Legendary of Galar. Oh, there's a Bolton right there. Uh, oh, there's the bridge right there. Okay. Hopefully the legendary birds will actually be here. I'm not wasting my time, because it says it only happens when the sun is hitting it. Hitting the tree. But it looks like... Um, that... I might meet them. That's a huge tree. Those are huge berries, too. Well, there's Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres looks really cool. Uh, Galarian Zapdos. That's the one that I want to catch. I want to catch Galarian Zapdos. I guess they're fighting over the berries. I guess this is just showing off uh, their abilities. Where's Articuno? That's cool. Reminds me of the... Of... Uh, the Space Angry Birds. Uh, get back your phone. Oh, uh, okay. Guess they noticed me. No, come on. Zapdos. No. I wanna... I wanna go after Zapdos. I like Zapdos. So, Zapdos went in one direction. Beep, beep, beep. What is it now? Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. Listen, I want to ask you something. Hang on, Chief, there's breaking news on the telly. They're saying dodgy bird Pokemon are popping up left and right. There's this pointy feather one on, in the wild area. Plus a fire lo looking one out in the Ar Isle of Armor. And this fancy graceful one... Apparently, find out about the crown tundra. Okay, so that's cool. They're spread across, um, Galar, crown tundra, and Isle of Armor, which is really cool. Wouldn't it be something if they turned out to be the bird Pokemon I brought by the clue about? Yes. Hmm. This would the case. I think that call this expedition something like a legendary tree of legendary three. Okay. Now I've got an ultra mega. 
completely forgot what I called for you in the for, for the first thing. Well, it's too short to sweep. Just with the small stuff. Ta chief. Well then. Ku says, when the sun reaches the zenith, it shines directly upon the great trees. Burnt the bird of orange dashed off to Weller. Bird of black flew off the Isle of Armor. Bird of purple set off to Crown Tundra. So I want Zapdos. And maybe I'll get the other ones uh, later on. But uh, I guess I'll just go over to the wild area. Oh, I found it. Oh my gosh. It's over there. Okay, that was quick. Come on. I have to cut it off somehow. This is like the first episode of the Isle of Armor where I'm chasing the Slowbros. Okay, I'm getting close. <laughs> yes! I got it! Counter a wild Zapdos. The sunlight is harsh. Alright. So... I don't want to make it faint. Uh, so what's my... Alright, Darkest Larry is the least powerful move. I don't want to kill this. That was quite a bit. Oh no. Okay. If I do another Darkest Lariat, it'll get into the yellow. And then I'll tr I'm gonna try and catch it. Oh gosh. This is really intense. Oh no. Please don't kill it. Please don't please don't get a crit. If you get a crit. Oh. Oh. oh okay, that's close. Okay. Uh I'm not going to use I'm gonna save the master ball for Color X. Why didn't I get more Ultra Balls? Okay, each an Ultra Ball. Okay. No. I will go through all my Pokemon to get Zapdos. Oh, no. No! No! My Rocky Helmet! Ah, oh, no! The wild Zapdos fainted! Oh no. Zapdos fled somewhere else. Oh. Hey guys, I think I'm just going to catch uh, Galarian Zapdos with a Master Ball, because this is, this, this is taking a long time. I'm just going to go do it. I got the Master Ball. I'm not sure if this is the right move, but I will, I'm just going to do it, because, uh, I don't want to be here forever. If this breaks out, that would be so annoying, but I know it won't. Master Balls. Uh, always catch. I actually saw a, a, and also I think that Glaring Zapdos might be the best without another legendary, which I won't spoil uh, for you. All right, Glaring Zapdos. Yes, I'm gonna name this Zapdos Hermes, basically because Hermes is supposed to be really fast, and I want to add it to my party. And I'm gonna switch out Miyagi, cause. He's it's Miyagi's good, but I really like Zap Galarian Zapdos a lot more, and it was kind of just like an uh, Isle of Armor thing. Miyagi, uh, I'm gonna place that in my bag. Hermes will be added to to your party in the Pokedex. All right. Beep beep beep. 
Oi, oi, it's me, P Peony. How's your expeditions going? You come on, come again, you found the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? Gaha, that's really something. Now go down and track the other bird Pokemon. Yeah, I don't really want to. If Zapdos is as hard as... If, I mean, if the other po if the others are as hard as Zapdos, I'm not, I don't really want to. So here we are, guys. Hermes, Glanian and Zapdos are Hermes. It has Thunderous Kick, which is a signature move, Drill Pack, Reversal, and Focus Energy. It's a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, I plan to use it throughout my adventure here. So yeah, that, that'll be it, guys. Bye!